everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. I've been busy because it's been the weekend. So what I've been doing is I've been mining up stuff, dying once as it happens. Oh my lights off. I'll take a quick look why the lights off that's not good. And I've been exploring a bit, doing a bit of caving. So look. Why are the lights off first of all? the wind No, that's going round. Just this one's off. That probably means the cable's broken somewhere. I have to go and check it. strange oh yes it looks like the cable's gone between here and there okay I'll fix that at some stage not urgent as it happens so what have I been doing in the base well after the last episode I'd made, I'd made this um, sorting system which of course I could have done a different way but I thought I'd quite like to do some vanilla stuff anyway now it's sorting these say it was a just so it's in about 40 flints I think so the rest of it's going straight into here no blockages in here at all so that's great I do seem to be a little low on power which is um, also interesting I'm not quite sure why mm, because the machines I'm not sure that they're using the po all of that much power anyway the other thing I did is I changed this so I put one boiler on each of them of the uh, steam uh, what do we call them actually? <laughs> Steam engines. And that seems to be better because if I look at these, they've actually got a. It's, it's producing millibuckets per tick, which is basically fluid amount was is full, amount one bucket, and it's empty. There's a steam, so it's generating enough water in there. Actually, that's a bit weird. Actually, is that strange? Why has that not got water in it? Uh, I'd expect it to have water in there because it's connected to this. Yeah, never mind. And these things are also a bit weird as well. They're not basically it's got power and it's going up and down, so it's maintaining 100 degrees or 110 degrees, which is great. Uh, but these don't seem to be working. <laughs> Maybe I looked at the last time, I can't remember. So, mob farm's working nicely. We've been dealt with that one. So, today I'd like to do some. Oh, we've got to do some harvesting of course of pumpkins I haven't done any harvest of pumpkins recently but because I was exploring and I've actually got enough pumpkins around so I don't really need to do pumpkins let's just pick up those melons as well and let's go over to the actual pumpkin farm and pick up a few more over there they'll be done what I did here as well is I wanted to see whether or not um, the aquamunda stuff was stopping because of um, being unloaded so I made some little spot loaders to load up the two chunks one chunk well you can see basically one chunks this side and the other chunks the other side so the whole of this is in one chunk but it's broken of course so I think that's probably related to being an initialization error or something like that but the bug's been reported so hopefully the developer will fix it sooner or later Those spot load recipes just in JEI anyway, so we can actually have a look at that. Because they come in batches of 10 in this pack. And I went and emptied out my mine. I'm not sure I told you that last time. Um, there was a Illuminite mine over there and there was another one as well. And um, I emptied it completely out of the stuff uh, and put all of the, the minerals in there. So that was that was quite good. Now, what was special about that Luminite one? I can't remember. But I, I was coming back from that. I should go and let's go and have a look at that before we start today's little exercise. Let's make sure we've got this in our hand because I want to make sure that I haven't got any backpacks with me. I don't think I have. Let's just be sure. See if we can put one down. No, I can't. Good. So over here, I found I killed a skeleton. <laughs> and in the when I was killing the skeleton, it dropped uh, a backpack. And I was going, that's a bit unusual. I've not seen that before. Let's have a look at what it's actually dropped. So I marked the point. I had to look inside it, of course, to see if there was anything interesting in there. For me, where has it gone to? It can't be very far away now. Over there, 28 meters.
I was also cleaning up doing some there we are look, a purple backpack so look right click this we've got <laughs> some iron ore in that's quite nice and some torches some wooden swords blocks of wood and some all sorts of bits and pieces so I had no idea why this skeleton was actually uh, carrying this with it but it was <laughs> and um, I discovered a few more things as well so I got my slime farm working as well we got to slime farm now I actually managed to find the actual slime chunks that took quite a long time I can tell you but I don't know why every time I looked it would seem to be in a different position so oh I don't want you down there let's get rid of you torches are bad <laughs> every time I see a torch I've got to get rid of it in fact I think this area is bad anyway because I've got oh no this is fairly okay this one is there anything down oh I think this was my coal mine or something like that yeah I think this is my coal mine that never that turned out not to have any coal in it uh, okay that's you see it's highly polluted that coal mine it's coming up to night time we should be able to get to back to base just in time And then we can have a quick sleep and then we can have a quick look at what I what I found I think oh the slime the slime and farm and there's also I think there's a dungeon down there I found a dungeon and I found a, a set of dungeons with about I think there are about four different caves in there which was I've not seen that before mind you having said that I've not been playing that much normal Minecraft over the last period of time we've been playing Forever Stranded and Lost Souls there we go and of course this this, this mine got quite badly polluted and of course these are steps they don't matter if they're dark because their mobs can't spawn on those anyway now where is it here we go and there we've got my slime let's get rid of the slime I just need to stand here. Could you want? And I think that'll probably be enough. Oh, we've got, I don't know how many slam balls we've got there. Ten. I don't know whether there's any in here. No, nothing in there. So that isn't. I need to move the slimes onto a grinder. So, but at least it's a slime chunk here, so that's good. And this was basically an area of. Um, what was down here? Nothing really. I was just filling it all. I think I must have gone mining for something. But maybe it was just to fill it in. Because the stop because this was in the village. And the village was getting attacked by lots of mobs, so I, well too late. I was too late. They're all dead anyway, the the villagers. No more villagers here. Which is a shame. I do it's quieter of course without villagers. Let's get rid of what I've got on me. So yes, you can see I've got a golden chest plate here. They're, they're useful these chest plates because if I smelt that, I'll get eight eight pieces of gold out of there. Now gold's relatively rare in this pack. You've got to go searching quite hard for for gold, and I found about oh, I suppose I found about two. When you consider how many things I've been, uh, how many I've been doing, because this is completely full. So we've got another gold chest plate in there. And this one's also completely full. I'll probably can get rid of some of this stuff actually. And of course, this one's completely full as well. <laughs> it's got, I think the bottom one had some ender pearls in it, but they didn't work. Oh, yes, we can get rid of some of these. And another gold chest plate. Let's just swap that over and take the gold chest plate out. Oh, that's an enchanted one. But that's fine. I was keeping the, the ones in here, weren't, wasn't I? Let's just swap that over for that one. Hopefully, I can find a way of disenchanting things. Let's put those together. Press W and put them in. Take them out. So I'm hoping that they will actually reap some benefits from this. So there's two of those. Let's just put those. Two. If I can put those together, we'd get seven pieces of gold in that. So uh, not quite. Shame. 
got all this string. Let's just swap that out for some string. Oops, too slow. Um, let's take 64 bones. Okay, that'll do. And I'll have to come and clear this out. I'll find a better way of doing this actually. It's not very good at that. I'm probably going to set up hopper ducks because I did get those. Ah, oh, yes, I got those to work. I don't know what was wrong. I think I was doing it correctly and I was doing it incorrectly. But what seemed to I seem to have to do is I had to take it from underneath and send them across and put them into the hopper. And going into the side of the hopper was also fine. Anyway. And they're not too expensive, but it is quite a long way, sort of 50 blocks or so, so I have to make 50 of those, which will use up quite a lot of materials, of course, because I think it's two per eight or something like that. Let's get rid of this stuff I've got on me. Slime balls, where am I keeping slime balls? Ender pearls down here. Do you know, I don't know where I've got slime balls at all never mind so we can stick some of it oh I did find a swapping wand as well <laughs> and where did I find that that was in the, one of those caves and I did take it out so let's put it in there so today there's two things I'd like to do obviously make a little bit more inventory space because that seems to be my permanent problem at the moment <laughs> so let's put this up here I don't think I need the jellied stuff at the moment because it is coming towards winter Um, let's put these two back on. What's the helmet gone to there? Let's press H. I've so got rubbish in my thing. It's a half look. So as you can see, I found some mossy stone bricks, which basically means I found a. What did I find? This this dungeon type thing. Let's get rid of this lot. Have some space for later on. Those don't go obviously go in. So what else have I got in the in the backpack? I'll take that out and those out. The bones out we don't need. The spiders, some iron. Got some iron from that golden. Yeah, that's my helmet. Isn't it for doing things? I found a stone broadsword from Tinker's Construct. That was obviously from one of the mobs drops. Because I didn't take anything else out of the chest except for that. Now what can we do? Can we get rid of any of these things into here? And get rid of bricks. What have I got in here? Okay, I've got some stuff. Let's get rid of some stuff into that. I'll probably throw that away anyway. Ah, that's better, doesn't it? At least I've got half a reasonable end. Half an inventory now, so that's so that's good. So today, what I'd like to look at is some rustic stuff. Oh, I need some arm buckets and some iron. And I need some more nether bricks. Now I've got nether bricks already made. Let's take a snack of those. So the rustic stuff I wanted to look at here. Is these two things. The advanced alchemic condenser. It's not too expensive. Well, a block of iron, I suppose it makes it reasonably expensive. So you need one of those. And then you need three chemical retorts. So I should be able to oh, shift click those and then I'll get three perfect. Because I've already got four buckets prepared. And then I'll need some coal. And we need some water. So let's just take a stack of coal and get some water out of it. I don't think this one actually pollutes, which is also quite nice. We've got a bucket of water here. So let's go and put that down somewhere. I'm not sure where to put it at the moment, but this place looks like reasonably free, so we'll make this. What I'm going to do is make um, an infinite water supply to it as well. So let's just dig up these two pieces of stone here, like that. Good. And then we'll just make this up. And I don't want to use the axe, I'll use this matic on those. So we can put one piece of water in, or oh, actually I could put this two pieces of stone back, couldn't I? Let's do that because I can do it from here, can't I? So let's put one bucket of water in there. Because we're going to need quite a lot of water for this. And that is just ordinary water, good. Put it like that. So we've got our infinite water supply quite near to where we want to work. So we set this thing up, and the way it goes is like this. So you put down the 
chemical condenser first of all and it needs basically it needs a little bit of space around it but that that will do i think so we've got three spaces around it like this interesting looking thing you, you right click it doesn't do anything for the time being let's get rid of all this cross that's in the way so now we can what we have to do is put down these three advanced chemical alchemical retorts beside it so they should all link into this maybe you have to right click the thing because it didn't look as though it was right <laughs> it doesn't look it went the wrong way break, break that one and then put that one like that and then when you've done that this has an interface which is great so we need some bottles and we need some water that's why I built the, that's why I got this infinite water supply here so you can right click this and right click it it takes eight bottle it takes eight buckets of water that should be six seven eight and you see if you right click it again it opens it up so that's right eight buckets of water it takes some coal let's put some coal in it in fact we actually need coal like this and then we need to make something in this so we need some glass bottles i notice as well of course we'll have a look at what we can do so it's actually an early game uh potions mechanism this and it's really a good one so let's have a look i've got some wind thistle from rustic anytime you find stuff from rustic pick it up horsetail so what else do we need see i've got some of this one death stalk mushroom i'm not going to use this one because i don't know how to use it yet <laughs> you'll see what i'm talking about when we have a look at the recipes for this um and these i can put back as well i don't need the iron let's put the iron back so let's put the iron in here that's always useful and it's night time again so we're gonna have to have another sleep well in a few seconds we are now because my health was a bit down i got i think i got creeped but now i got attacked i was in the, i think it was in a doing some caving and of course caving in this pack is very dangerous but at least with the shuriken its life isn't as bad as it was so so let's have a look at for example at the uses of aloe vera so we can press uses for that and then you see the advanced alchemy which is the one we we actually need to make so we've got coal alchemy and aloe vera will produce elixir of fire resistance and if i then add horsetail to that as well that's a three minute one and then this becomes an eight minute one now horsetail is everywhere this you can get from the desert obviously the rest is fairly straightforward plenty of clay around so we need some bricks now i've got bricks somewhere there let's make three of these now we need some glass jars we've got plenty of glass jars i'll take those 15. the witches are dropping glass, uh, glass duck jars so i'm getting those from the mob farm so that's a, another good thing about the mob farm now let's put that into that that was at the top wasn't it so we need to put aloe vera in here I think that was in the middle and I'm not sure if the order is actually important. Oops, let's put the horse tail in there first of all. Can we take that out? Yes we can, good. So we don't waste it. <laughs> and you see it makes these purpley smoke oh they're actually psychedelic smoking things if you look at whatever they're doing. It looks quite cool, doesn't it? <laughs> so then we should have our first elixir of fire resistance, eight minutes. Which, of course, is an ideal thing to have in the nether. Get rid of you. Can't see from you. So we'll get three three of these coming out of here. And it's very easy, as you can see. It's not very difficult. But if we have a look at, the, for example, uh, go back and have a look at the uses of this one. Again, it's we've got simple alchemy and we've got advanced alchemy. So this one's going to produce speed with sugar. And then you can extend the time this one so that's was eight minutes and this one is one minute 30 that's a speed two now i haven't found this marshmallow root yet I, from rustic there must be somewhere it, it's around so that's speed for eight minutes speed two for one and a half minutes so of course then you can go and have a look at the recipes for this one if you look for the uses right click it so we have all of these different elixirs instant health with chamomile and raw beef that's also not too difficult this one is regeneration with kokosh kohosh and honeycomb honeycomb we've found already kokosh i haven't bothered to look for of course the horse tail does this one 
and as you can see there's all sorts of these recipes and here's the one desktop mushroom with some soul sand will give me wither too I, obviously I don't want to be drinking that so I'm not quite sure that's why I said I'm not sure exactly what we have to do with it <laughs> so if anybody knows please let me know that would help a lot I'll take in fact I'll leave those in there so that's rustic for us which looks actually rather cool I'm, I'm happy about that because that would have prevented my death in the nether had I done it first but I decided I wanted to do that and show you that one and there so actually I haven't I haven't done this today have we let's just take this off here let's get an empty hand shift right click it does work I'm going to go back and fix this over here in fact what I will see I've got tons of stuff in here actually that was a bit of lag probably caused because of that what did I want to do oh, I wanted to repair the things so let's just put in the hammer into here where's the hammer gone to I'll do the, this one first and there's the hammer nice to repair things with cobblestone isn't it I also added one one set of uh, redstone to this haste so I've got haste in there and this one's got haste as well and that's basically it and we could actually test this out there's a few trees over here I was planting some trees down to check whether or not it works so we could for example if I right click this one it shouldn't break anything except for this because it was got it's three by three by three and it's dirt so that's fairly fast and here's a four by four um birch tree so that's i think there's four in there yes there is so how fast this one is it's fairly fast <laughs> i think that's probably fast enough so i'm not going to use any more redstone for that one did i get four back i did good you don't always get the number of birch saplings back when you plant more, when you plant the things together like that, but in this case it did, so that's fine. And then we'll put the birch wood over here. How much, how much birch wood did I get? Twenty-four. That's fairly decent actually. So today, the next thing to do, I want to do this. Doesn't tell you very much when I did that, does it? No let's have a look for example at the book first of all I'll tell you what let's get the clipboard out because this is episode 25 isn't it episode 24 we'll put in we'll put into the book here it was only a short episode so, and i'm not even sure whether you like that type of episode anyway so let's just um what i did was basically the vanilla sorting system And I was trying to explain the redstone part of that. So episode 25, which is this one. The first thing I wanted to do was the rustic alchemy, wasn't it? Alchemy, I think it's pronounced like that. Advanced. So we've done that. And we've also made some uh, fire resistance. Which is quite nice because you don't have to go to the nether to get the fire resistance which is also probably a sensible thing to do in that order and the third thing i want to do is to make the press from i engine immersive engineering that's what these bits are for i haven't bothered to um oh well, that's not too bad off yet because we haven't done it yet so i need the book have i got the book around somewhere Yes, I have. Now the top ones are immersive. They're both there. Uh, they're both um, what are Akashic terms, and once one's just set up for the immersive engineering manual. So I reckon I'm going to put it down here to start with. Obviously, I haven't got enough space, and we're going to have to make something bigger. Now maybe these trees are in the way. Let's just get rid of these trees. Hopefully we get enough saplings to replant them at another time. So he'll do fine. So let's get the book out. So this is actually heavy machine, strangely enough. I'm surprised about that. But it's a very good one. So we need so look at the ingredients. Piston. Oh, I haven't got a piston. Okay, I have to go and get a piston. So we need two steel scaffoldings. 
which is what we've got and then one redstone block in the middle of that and on the very top of that goes the power so I might be able to take the power from there so we'll do it like that so and then it goes in the row so I think this is the row we get the way we're going to do it so let's put down the two scaffolding blocks they come in sets of six I haven't actually split them all up and the redstone box comes in sets of twos like that then I need to put a piston on top of that and then a heavy machine block on top of that actually I, I've made a piston I'm sure of it so we can put the rest of this stuff away so we've done we've used those we don't need those anymore actually the heavy machine block I do need where did I put it out ah, here and a piston no pistons or am I just not seeing pistons I'm just not seeing pistons so we need one of those three pieces of wood and four cobblestones and a piece of redstone Ooh. <laughs> that was a butterfly and it made me jump I can tell you <laughs> right let's try that again three four so one piece of wood and then we'll um <laughs> oh that was i've got 11 pieces of wood i just need one of these let's put the others back into there so i got a bit of inventory space free and what else did i need redstone i keep saying i don't like doing crafting on camera but i'm doing <laughs> i'm doing some crafting on camera so let's do a piston so that's uh, i can remember the recipe for this one strangely enough so one piece of iron one piece of redstone and three planks should give me one piston i would like a connector as well and i think the connectors are elsewhere i think i've got the connectors in here i hope that these will work so we need one of those and we'll need one of these as well and have i got a hammer it would be a very good idea to have put a hammer because putting a piston down on top of this is actually surprisingly difficult <laughs> or maybe not actually thinking about it where's the pistons i have to be on top of it for it to go down i've done it if i jump up do it like that nope it's the other way up ah as i said it's it's awkward tell you what let's put a block down on top of that put a wood and then we can break the piston and do it the other way around I need, of course, I need a, I need a pickaxe for that. So I should be able to put the piston down now, fairly easily. Let's just see if I can reach that. Yes, I can. Good. Of course, my inventory is now completely full again, which is a no. So the next thing to do is go and get a hammer, and knock it about with the hammer. Uh, the most of engineering one's just fine. I think I've got one of those in this chest here. Good. Let's get rid of those saplings. Like that. So we can then put this on top of this one. Can I break this with this axe? It's probably a bit, bit dangerous, won't it? It's a bit too, a bit too drastic. It might break something else. Well, let's just use the ordinary iron mattock for that. So then on top of that goes the heavy engineering block. And then we should be able to right click this thing. Now uh, which block do we have to right click? Probably the middle one. Was it shift right click? Oh. oh I got that. Oh I've can put the conveyor belts down, of course. It won't work. it won't form to put the conveyor belts down on this. So they have to go in one particular direction. I should have put those down that way and it's pitch black of course oh, tell you what I'm going to have a quick sleep you can do that here I got an achievement as well didn't I road to nowhere oh yes well at least if they go the wrong way around you can just hit them with a the hammer and put them the right way around so that'll do fine and yep that'll do fine now I should be able to hit this oh I hit the piston okay good so that's built so now we should be able to put a connector on the top of this can I get up here? I can't quite, but let's get try it anyway. 
<laughs> just two, just one block too, or two blocks too low. Let's just try it with this one. Right now I can put the connector on here. So I should be able to link that into the power supply. So I'll shift right click that and then I should be able to click the middle of this pillar and we should have a connection there which we have. So that's now we should be able to make, actually start to press things but we, of course we've got to make the presses first of all. So let's go now make a press. The one I want to make of course is the the one that's going to drives me crazy always is the copper coil one because that takes is you get 50% more out of the copper coil when you use the copper coil one. So I don't want that in there. Let's put those in there. So we need immersive engineering and we want the presses. The one I'm going to make is this one. So we need six steel plates, a pair of wire cutters and the engineer's press blueprint which is this one so we need okay three die three pieces of paper copper aluminium and iron now have i got that press common projectile specialized with art furnace electrodes no we've got to make that one now it doesn't Ah yes, the second one does tell me. So two is aluminium, so that'll be I think it goes one, two, three, four, but it might be this one. I know I can tell by the numbers gone to eighty-eight. People still want a stack. Right, good. Have I got any space? I have got a little bit of space, but we can get rid of this. I don't need the ladders with me either. I'm not going climbing because what my plan was to do was another was go up to the very top and make a put and make a firm of the nether and make a sort of uh, what's it called a hub, hub where you can put all your um i'm not having a bit of tr trouble and iron was the other one i've got one piece of iron left goodness another hub so you can basically just walk between different things so three of those are paper i think i'm keeping paper in here no I've got no paper about in there. I must have got some somewhere. I probably can't see it because I've probably put it in, organised it. No, nope, I haven't. I'll just make three pieces of paper. So, so the paper was at the bottom, I think. And then there were three of those, and then it was the order. I'm not sure which order it was. I think it might have been copper. Aluminium and iron. Oh yeah, good one. So now we need six pieces of steel. Flattened steel. We've got ten pieces oh we've got five pieces, haven't we? And a pair of wire cutters. I'll tell you what I probably should do is probably make a, a steel press as well. We'll do that as I think we'll do that one first. So we've got the machinery over here. So let's take this one out of here and put this one into that. Oh, crafting components. Have I made the wrong one? Ah. Oh, I'm just cursing a bit at the moment. <laughs> Which one have I done? Oh, the metal press moulds. Okay, so this one. Right, well, I'll tell you what. Let's just get rid of that. So that was one metal that was one piece of steel wasn't it hammered so we need gonna need six of these actually i'm a bit short of steel and then we're going to need three pieces of die and three pieces of paper oh, i know where i put the paper it's in the it's in the room They go down the bottom, they go down there, and this one goes in the middle. And then we should get the press molds, that's the one good. This time we can shift that one out and put this one in, so there we can put our stuff. So we put those into there and they 
pair of cutters we can select any of these so metal press mold engineering we'll start with this one and we'll put that into the machine because that's obviously we need that to make the next set of presses so that's the one to start with so let's see if that works so what you have to do is you right click this one into here like this and then all you need to do is to drop these into here now what's a good idea here I find is to put down a um, to put down a hopper actually a hopper and we can use a vertical conveyor belt so let's do that Now let's have a look at the uses of that probably the easiest way to do this so this is what we want to do let's move those into that give me three vertical conveyor belts i suspect if we look at the uses of that we can actually make it as a covered vertical belt i'm not sure about that at the moment but uh let's say i can make one of these because that then prevents things dropping out of it um but I don't think I mind for the time being. Let's just make sure we've got a hopper. Oh, didn't work. I tried control clicking it in. So we put one of these here. And then we can put the hopper. I think we just put the hopper because I'm probably too near. Is that going the right way? Maybe. Let's just try it. I haven't got I haven't got oops, I haven't got a magnet with me, but let's just try this. Haha. <laughs> well they actually are working. As you saw. Let's just put those back in again. Get out of the way. Let them get picked up and get hammered. If we go far enough away, we should sit. Yep, yeah, there we go. So then it's getting pressed. Now I need some way to catch those bits at the other end of that. And we also need some more steel. That's four. So they get thrown off. So we need one more of those to make the, the copper coil thing. So let's do that as well. Hopefully I have got enough steel for that one. But probably not. Blast furnace is here no more steel and this is actually quite a big polluter this this machine i'm not sure if that's a change I'll tell you what let's see if we've got any iron coming through for the system at all if not i'm a bit stuck 52 pieces of iron I'll tell you what we'll do we can make this advanced as well i'm not going to do that just yet let's just take one of these blocks out of here Actually, I can do this, can't I? Make nine coal cokes. Let's put one of the. I don't know how many of these make. So let's put 52 iron in there and then one coal coke in there and see how many it does. And that will give me a way to optimize this. But as you can see, this is going to produce a lot of pollution. And I'm pretty sure it didn't used to produce pollution. So let's get a chimney and see where I have to put that to actually uh, prevent find a way to prevent it but the carbon emissions I can't prevent it's just the sulfur ones we can prevent unless I had another idea about this as well unless it's whether you have to use cut diamond um, might do both iron might do one and the other one probably let's just try it anyway so this one is that pollution of the realm and the one I was going to try was this one so I'm missing one piece of wool no big deal we have plenty of wool like that and then I should be able to make the iron one I'm just wondering whether or not the iron one will actually get rid of carbon emissions it doesn't tell me it just says it's got capacity of 64 um, so we've got some spare gold ones I can pinch one of the gold ones from here can't I so we'll just take this one off of this yeah I picked it up well, look how full that one is 14 that's fine and then what else do we want? We want a chimney, don't we? Let's 
which chimneys shall we use in this case I've got a choice of granite chimneys I'll use the granite chimneys I'll put those and <laughs> put those in there it's night time I'll have a quick sleep because it's it gets so dark you can't really see what you're doing that's a bit of a pain and this um, this backpack in front of me it happens to be my nether backpack <laughs> As you can see, it's my emergency nether backpack. If I die in the nether, that's what I go and pick up and go back to the nether. So, now, let's go and try and put a chimney on this thing. So, you can see it's producing pollution already. Let's just knock that one off. Um, put down, what can I put? I picked up some seeds, brilliant. Let's use this pumpkin as a stand. I need to use two things, don't I? Well, I forgot where there's two. I'll tell you what, at least two chimneys. <laughs> you can walk on chimneys. So if I put one on here, does it, is the pollution going to come across here? Or do I have to be smarter? That's the question. Let's put a gold filter on this to start with. And then the iron one on top of that. Like that. Actually, it's already finished. Do you, that produced that just made one piece of steel. Okay, that's actually not very many. I'll tell you what, too. If that's the case, we'll make that into nine. I've got a crafting table down here, which I shall leave. This is a good trick, by the way. If you want to make this, you take this creosote bottle out of here, put it in there. Um, come back in a minute. <laughs> We've got a bit more inventory space. <clears throat> I need at least one block inventory space. Oh, we can we can shove this into this as well. By the way, let's just put that into there. It might be behaving badly because of my armor. Right, probably is behaving badly because of my armor. And what we do with there is we put a chest and or. In fact, what the best thing to do is using the most of engineering crate and put onto that a hopper dropper. In fact, we can do that, can't we? That's another way of doing that. First of all, I need to get rid of this seed. I'm not sure I've got seeds. Yes, I've got So we need to hop a dropper. So I think if we look at the uses of this one, we should find one that we can use as a, as a dropper. What's the difference between that? Ignores redstone signal. Okay. Self-crafted into ignore redstone signal. That's the splitter. This is the one we'd, we'd, I would probably have used for doing the extraction. So this is the one we need an iron trapdoor, which we have got. And it's in here, that was actually, oh, that was where I got the piston as well. So that's what I'm trying to do this way around. This can make a topper dropper, a dropping conveyor belt. So we can also make a, an immersive engineering chest. What's it called? Crate, isn't it? that's just planks which we can also craft good so the best thing to do with that is to go like this oh I wanted to make this put this back into a block didn't I ah, not such a good idea it, I don't think it makes any difference we'll try it so that if that was correct we'll do nine blocks of iron nine ingots of iron we'll see I have a feeling that blocks did more <laughs> so let's come over here and let's put in that one block of cold coke oh yeah that's going through that chimney that's actually and it's coming through here too okay didn't expect that but as you can see, it's it's producing a lot of pollution, this thing. Shame on it. And it didn't make any difference, and I suspect that it doesn't work anyway with the other one. So we put a ground of crate down here like that. And then we could put the dropping hopper on that, so we face it this way. There we go. I have to press shift off your thing to put it down, and it'll then drop into there. So we need another piece of steel, and we'll test that out. No, we won't. What we'll do is we'll do it this way. 
we've got our five pieces of steel plate now so we can make the coil one so it's that one basically the wire the wire one so if we put five of those in there we can make the wire one out so it's always the same quite neat actually isn't it so we need now some copper I'll take a stack of copper So what we do is we right click this onto that one, it swaps it over, we get the other one back. Let's put the other one in this chest down here, so it's where it belongs, so to speak. And then we'll come along here and we'll put one piece of copper into that to start with. Stand back a bit so it doesn't so it lets it get picked up. That's why I was wondering whether or not it would make sense. Now that should then drop into this crate, which it has done like that. So we then get two copper wires. So if you look for the recipe for copper wires, you see we do that way we get one plate and we have to make a, a sheet of copper first of all to do that. And the way to the recipe for that one of course was to hammer a piece of copper. And or you can cast it, which is what we've been doing, but that's also dirty, pollution unfriendly, and we could cast it. So that would be the next one. So I need a lot more steel. I need a lot more steel and I'm unhappy about it. <laughs> So what, while we're doing that, let's just shove these into here because we're going to need these. Give me two stacks of coils because we've got plenty of copper. I went and cleared out the copper mine from the desert. But I might have to do this another day. I've run out of time. Let's, there is one thing I wanted to look at was a heater. This one. That's why I wanted to make the copper coils, because the external heater allows you to heat things externally. Now I'm wondering, this might not work on, it's supposed to work for furnaces definitely, but I don't know whether it's going to work on the kiln. Anyway, I press the right buttons. So until next time, I wish you all the best and we'll try that then. So bye for now.